Hello everybody. For over a decade I've been teaching about a time of change that would be happening upon our planet. A time in which the strongest of the strong would stand together as the loving warriors of Mother Earth to bring about the greatest change in human memory. Now I say to you that time is here. We are the ones that we've been waiting for. We are the prophesied tribe of many colors. Many of you have heard me speak about the great shift or the time of change, perhaps thought of this as something abstract, something that would simply happen on earth, but never really took into consideration that it would be a very personal and very real challenge in our everyday lives. And it's time to realize that the shift or the change is that of human consciousness. And human consciousness does not exist without us. For we are the humans that create human consciousness with every negative or positive word, emotion or action which feeds either love or ego consciousness. No one in living memory can attest to the great changes we are seeing at this time from global warming to the mass extinctions of many of our beloved plants and animals, extreme wildfires, pandemics, the ice caps melting, sea level rise, coral reef die off, water and soil pollutions, starvation of mass populations, climate refugees, and the obscene amount of distrust and misinformation and misleading chaos we are spoon-fed by our social media and our world leaders. It's hard to sift through the information and try to know what's real and reliable. In turn, we see people taking sides and becoming aggressive in their opinions and creating a vast chasm in their beliefs and actions towards others that are of the opposite belief. But if we can clear our heads for just a moment, we can clearly see through the mist and the rubble of our own beliefs and opinions that something very real and very important and crucial is missing, and that is of compassion and understanding. If we are to uphold our callings as the strongest of the strong, if we are able to to be those who will lead humanity out of the chaos and out of ego and corruption, we cannot do it without compassion, care, and love for others. There are a lot of things we could fight against right now, but trust me when I say fighting is not the answer. It will never be the answer. This has personally been a very persistent and difficult lesson for me to learn. I have a very fiery and quick temper and reaction to wanting to defend and protect the natural world. I have an inherent and unwavering, seemingly automatic warrior's response to climate change deniers or those willing to sacrifice the natural world and its species for a profit. Or even worse, those who choose to turn a blind eye and pretend it doesn't exist so they don't have to make small changes to their everyday life. The health of our planet affects me in a very real way. I, like many of you, feel the absolute heartache and pain and almost inconsolable emotion that comes with seeing the devastation to our ecosystems and all that it inhabits. I will go a step further and admit a creeping feeling of defeat, feeling small and unable to make a change or feeling that we have all gone too far in our actions to shift the balance and preserve our natural world and create a healthier way of living. I, like many of you, have noticed the bitter and belittling taste of defeat in my mouth, but I refuse to swallow it. We cannot accept defeat. We cannot accept to expect to change the world if we do not accept the responsibility to change ourselves myself included. I must let go of the fight and strengthen my resolve in love by focusing our attentions and our words, our actions and our emotions on that which we do want and what we want to see and pass on in the world. We must become grounded, focused and in tune with the natural world more so than ever before. We must become more loving and more compassionate than ever before. Yes, we can stand for what we believe in. We can have our voices heard. We can unite and make a difference, but not in anger, not in ego, and not in aggression. If we want the world as we know it to change, we must change. If we want 
love consciousness to win, we must act in love. For if there is anything true left on this planet, it is that we cannot change ego consciousness into love consciousness without love. Love for ourselves, love for each other, and love for this most precious Mother Earth. There are so many things that must change in order for us to live in a more unified, kind, equal, and compassionate, and abundant life. And that change must start with ourselves. I have traveled the world and I've given lectures, ceremonies, events, gatherings, and teachings preparing for this moment. The shift has begun, and as the climate changes, our world changes. And as our day-to-day -day lives change, we must ask ourselves, are we ready? What can we do to stay connected, to stay grounded, and stay focused on living in love consciousness? I have asked myself these very questions. What can I do? How can I help? What can I offer? The answer has become stripped down to its simplest form, and that is to help others and myself remember who I am, how I am connected to this beautiful planet and all the magical and splendid relationships happening in the natural world. To remember that I am only one, but I am one. And by the grace of all that is sacred in this world, I will do my part to make it a better place. It starts with me and it starts with you. If we want to shift human consciousness on this planet, we must be willing to be love and be compassionate, to be unified in understanding of who we are and how we are all connected. We must learn to love ourselves. We must learn to love each other and this beautiful planet and understand our connection to her. The best way to do that is by simply falling in love with the natural world again and realizing that we are a very real part of that natural world. It all comes down to love. I want to reignite that wonder and excitement within you. I want you to find a peace and a stillness by simply being and appreciate the beauty that surrounds you. I want you to become part of the living tapestry that makes this beloved Mother Earth so astoundingly beautiful. I want us to fall back in love with our world with childlike joy and excitement and explore the interconnectedness that is all around us. In order to love something, you must understand that something. And the more we understand, the more we can love. And the more we love, the more we wish to protect that which we love. So I ask you to please join me in falling in love with the wild, falling in love with the magic and the splendor of our natural world through its great examples of cohesiveness, nurturing, connectedness, wisdom, and compassion, and by allowing yourself to become all that you can be, a connected, aware, crucial part of planet Earth. I've been working really hard to create some brand new and exciting online lectures. And they are finally ready. In these lectures, we will explore how interconnectedness happens between wildlife and their ecosystems, and how our trees are communicating, compassionate, and even conscious, with fascinating and almost unbelievable events that are happening all around us. Yet, have been virtually unseen and overlooked for way too long. I want us to fall deeply in love with the world's wildlife and forests, to see them as living, intelligent, and essential beings. So it's my pleasure to share with you two very brand new and very important lectures for all of us. The first one will be dedicated to wildlife and ecosystems, something really, really uh, close to my heart and essential for the world to understand so that we can not only love and appreciate but protect them. Wildlife is creating their eco own ecosystems and of course the ecosystem must be intact to harbor wildlife. There's so much I wish to share with you and for you to fall in love with as well and enjoy as much as I have enjoyed creating it. The second lecture will be given about the wisdom of trees how our trees are very much alive, operate using senses just like we do. They are compassionate 
and teaching wisdom and part, a very real part of the natural world and how they deserve dignity on this planet. So with great excitement, I offer you these brand new lectures and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.